Hello class, we are going to do um, denture care. This is Stephanie with Healthcare EDU. We are located in Brockton, Massachusetts. All of the information will be below. Prior to doing any skill, uh, we do hand washing is the first skill. So if you haven't seen my hand washing video or all my other videos, please go back and watch them. All right, so the assumption is that I've already washed my hands and I'm going to start. So this is doing providing denture care for a patient. Now, it's, We Are Massachusetts is based on Prometrics checklist, and that's the guideline that we're using. There might be subtle differences based on your state, okay? So um, the Prometric checklist mentioned the patient sitting up at the bedside table. In order to record this video more readily, I have my students sitting uh, right here, um, and it's not in an actual patient room, but I'm gonna mimic everything else. So I'm going to knock on the door, come in, introduce myself, Hi, my name is Stephanie. I'm your CNA today. I'm going to be taking care of your dentures and providing um, denture oral care, okay? Oral hygiene. Can I take a look at your two patient identifiers? Perfect. Now, this might be set up a couple of ways. You might have to create um, your clean barrier or the evaluator might have it set up for you to go right into denture care with the denture cup and um, the dentures at the bedside, but I'm going to create my barrier, okay? So I'm just gonna lay these down. I'm gonna cre create my clean barrier. All right, um, and so what I'm going to do, miss, I'm going to go and clean your dentures first before I cut come back and provide oral hygiene. Is that okay? Okay, so my supplies were the paper towels for my barrier. All right, I usually leave my Purell going with my gloves and Purell, leave them right there, okay? I have a cup of water here for the oral hygiene. I have a kidney basin, okay? I have a toothbrush and toothpaste, but I'm actually gonna go to the restroom or the sink with that so that I can provide the denture care. I have a washcloth. This is what I'm going to do, use to line the sink um, so that the dentures do not break. I have my dentures in the denture cup and I am going to carry it in this cup and not carry the dentures because dentures are very expensive and during this care, um, you take special precautions so that you do not break your client's, uh, your patient's dentures. And this is going to be her clothing protection um, that I'll put on when I come back, okay? So I set my table up. I'm just going to go take care of this and I'll be right back, all right? All right, so with the sink here, you want to make sure that you line the sink with the washcloth just in case you drop the dentures that they do not break. You're going to use cold, tepid water, cool, okay? And so I've opened and I have my dentures. I'm just going to place my denture cup. Your evaluator probably will have maybe a table or something like that nearby. Okay, I'm gonna take special care. The dentures aren't big, so I could kind of uh, watch what I'm doing here. And I'm actually going to clean my dentures, okay? I'm going to brush all surfaces, folding them. Make sure that I clean them. I'm gonna clean. You could use a toothbrush, toothpaste, toothpaste, dental cream, you know, whatever that they have there. So they're rinsed thoroughly. And now what I'm actually gonna do, I'm going to fill my denture cup with water. I'm gonna put the dentures in there. Okay, and I could come back and take care of this later. I'm going to come. Am I out of it? I'm going to actually come back to the patient room. Hi, hon. Hi, I'm back. I keep saying hon by accident, but I want you to remember Part of the nursing assistant skills is that you don't call a patient a nickname, you call them by their name or any name that the patient asks you to refer to. Uh, 
them as, okay? So I'm gonna put my denture cup here so my denture cup is in a safe location. And what I'll actually do is that I will hand hygiene again prior to providing oral um, hygiene and uh, mouth care. So this goes in the trash. I'm gonna hand hygiene. That's why if you watch my videos, I always go in to the room with Purell and gloves so that I can hi hand hygiene as many times as needed, okay? So what you could do, depending on how they've set this up, I put my denture cup here, presumably the patient's going to insert it into their mouth, but you could also put it at a bedside table. Um, and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to uh, cover my patient's beautiful garment, so I put a protection over. I have a kidney basin so that she can spit. All right, and so I'm going to, we're not gonna really brush our teeth here. Uh, what you can do is I'm gonna put toothpaste onto my brush, okay? There's some water, I put a little, pour a little water over the toothbrush to moisten it. And basically I'm going to brush at a 45 degree angle, the top, all right? And then I could give her a little bit of water so she could swish and please fit it into the kidney basin, okay? I could pat dry, and then I could brush the bottom of her teeth here. 45 degree angle this way, all right? Some water, swish around, the pat dry. Do you want some water to drink? No. Okay, I could brush her tongue here. So I did upper, lower tongue, swish, you can please spit it out. Okay, perfect. I'm going to pat dry. All right, how's that? That's good. Okay. Thank you. All right, so what I'm going to do is actually put this into my hamper. I didn't bring that in, so I'm going to put it there. I'm actually going to now clean my bedside table because you have to leave it in a clean, orderly manner. So I will take my supplies. They should all fit into the kidney basin put this into the bedside table or wherever the instructor has you leave it, the evaluator, all right, because you don't want to fall, maybe the patient will wear it or put her dentures back in. I'm going to bring all of my supplies out. Okay, so now I'm going to go put my supplies away, toss everything, and I've left her comfortable. So now what I want to say here it depends on where they have you set up with the patient. If the patient was in bed, um, you would do all the finishing up steps. I have her in a chair, so we don't have the bed low lock side rails up, but if she was in bed, you would go into these finishing up steps. If they had her sitting the way I have her here, once you put everything away, wipe the bedside table hand hygiene, you would be done.